It's legit. <laughs> it's just hallucinated the is the data legit? Yeah, because obviously if you want to synthesize uh, epileptic seizures, you need to be able to detect and predict it's even better. But no, that's uh, not right. GPT-4 was able to generate legit uh, references. This paper is available as archive and on IEEE as well. And what else we got? <laughs> it keeps... Uh, coming up with a uh, fake, uh, I don't know. No, this is wrong. This is not the paper. It's generated a link. No, 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 no. Yeah, this is a uh, GitHub Copilot. Oh, what it's getting. It's uh, references from. That's not correct. Not correct. That description sounded legit. Okay, so assuming the references are correct and uh, relevant. Perhaps we can add some more. How do we start a Flask application that will um, generate synthetic EEG tool? Probably have to be during seizure, before seizure, and after seizure. Whatever it's called, pre-ictal, post-ictal, inter-ictal. Inter or oh, what are the professional names if you can explain? quickly that will be great yeah while it's generating go check out bionicchaos.com there's a new blog on the page might be of interest yeah so it mentioned about uh, a seven references uh, of papers i was only only able to find five five of them were legit so i don't know how it's still it's okay ratio uh, it's called five out of seven whatever percentage that is yeah the blog was mainly written by gpt4 i actually can add quite a few inappropriate uses of eg it would be some more but yes structural brain lesions cannot be diagnosed by eg at least not at the moment and uh, also psychiatric disorders. Now, the question is, how about neurodegenerative disorders? Should have added it to the mix, to the mix, like uh, Alzheimer, uh, things like that. Doesn't talk about, I'm pretty sure in my prompting, we did have a section on it, I have to double check. Anyway, but this is published already, so I might as well uh, do a separate one just on that. Okay, back to the Flask application that will hopefully generate synthetic EEG during uh, epileptic seizures. Certainly the use of a GAN to generate synthetic EEG data for different phases of epileptic seizures before, during, and after a seizure is a relevant approach given the complex nature of EEG data during these phases. The phases are typically referred to as 1. Pre-ictal. This phase occurs before the onset of a seizure. It is a critical period where predictive models can potentially forecast an imminent seizure. 2. Ictal. This is the phase during which the seizure occurs, characterized by noticeable changes in the EEG patterns. 3. Postictal. This phase follows the seizure. It often involves a recovery period during which the EEG may show gradual returns to baseline or continue to show abnormal activity for a while. The application you are considering would involve using a GAN trained on EEG data segmented into these three phases. The model would learn to generate synthetic EEG data that replicates typical human brain activity during these different seizure stages. This can enhance training data sets for seizure prediction models, uh, particularly when real EEG data is limited or difficult to obtain due to logistical and ethical constraints. I like how it says, uh, if you're looking to integrate this model into a Flask-based web application, the hardware requirements would largely depend on the computational demands of the GAN. Typically, you'd need a powerful CPU and possibly a GPU for training and inference if the GAN model is complex. Adequate RAM to handle the data processing. Sufficient storage to store the model and any generated data. For the Flask application itself, the Flask server would handle HTTP requests from the front end, invoke the GAN model to generate the EEG data based on the selected seizure phase, and then send this data back to the client. 
The front end would likely include options for users to select the seizure phase and view the generated EEG data, possibly through dynamic graphs using JavaScript libraries like Chart.js or Plotly. This setup ensures that users can interactively select the type of seizure and instantly see the corresponding synthetic EEG output, uh, enhancing both the educational and practical applications of the model. Overall, deploying such a model in a clinical or research setting could help help in understanding and predicting seizures better, aiding in the development of personalized medicine approaches for epilepsy management. Why did it say help twice? It's as if maybe it's trying to uh, mimic Stata to sound more realistic. But yeah, those are all good suggestions. Yeah, so that's a good point there. Uh, yeah, that's the big advantage of synthetic uh, EEG can uh, generate endless amounts and there's no ethical concerns uh, about using it or publishing it because uh, it's not specific to any individual. Great stuff. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, there's a bunch of papers uh, that we found. There's apparently a way to check if uh, the model was trained on them or not by completing sentences. So, for example, should go to the bottom. This one actually specified which type of uh, seizures we have. So that's kind of handy. Yes, yeah, so if we take uh, this one. Yeah, we can ask it to complete a say if we take this sentence. Let's pop it in there. Should do it as a single shot. We complete. If following sentence can spell probably properly, can speak properly. Uh, let's see what it does. The CHB MIT dataset consists of the 844 hour long continuous multi channel EEG recordings from pediatric subjects with epilepsy used primarily for seizure detection and prediction studies. Okay, so. Does that suggest uh, that the current model was not trained on this paper? Or do we need to try some more? Yeah, there will be some sort of we need to do some sort of score of similarity. But this was quite different because it didn't mention like how many seizures and the like. Does it know a uh, this data set? how many patients and how many episodes episodes of seizures it uh, has yep 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 meant to send the command to the server 23 <laughs> it contains a total of 198 so where is getting this number from? It's uh, the paper says it's uh, 163. It's not the original paper, I think. I believe. Let's see ecosystem. Hey, right. boom, 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 boom. Okay, let's jump quickly to something more simple. We'll finish. Uh, we'll continue this one uh, another time.